I saw a finding that the British public think that getting to net zero by 2050 will cost 28, 28% of GDP, whereas the Climate Change Committee themselves, you know, in this independent think tank, yeah. say it will cost only 0.2% of GDP. The Staggering gulf, gulf in the, there. What in... the public think and what's reality is what we need to address, isn't it? It's quite depressing as someone that's been you know, covering this topic for quite a while to see the extent to which the political and the media discourse around this has really parted from reality in quite significant ways. You, you've highlighted one there. And, you know, we've got some newspapers in the UK that are just attaching literally anything that they think is even vaguely related to climate action and that they think can be portrayed in, in a sort of negative light as, you know, like net zero. Mm. And particularly if they think they can attach it to, to Ed Miliband, who's obviously the Secretary of State for all of this, who newspaper editors, for, for reasons that are not entirely clear, absolutely hate him. You know, they're constantly calling him an eco-loon, a zealot, a madman. I mean, I mentioned that the progress we've made since Paris, it, it's quite discordant in many ways. You know, people saying we need resets and we need to change course and all this. Well, Actually, you know, we are making progress. Clean energy is much cheaper than it was a decade ago. In many places, it's the cheapest way to, you know, to get new energy supplies. Clean energy investment is now, you know, twice as big as fossil fuel investment. You know, things have changed in big ways, and yet somehow everyone's depressed and holding their head in their hands. It yeah. doesn't quite add up.